This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 20, The One-Eyed Dragon Castle. Alright, so before starting this mission, I recommend uh, replaying Queen's Eye mission. Uh, because we are going to be using uh, some Spirit Stones and using our Living Weapon uh, against uh, certain enemies. Uh, so yeah, um, as I'm progressing, I'm just wave dashing past all these enemies. And while I'm wave dashing past all these enemies, I did forget to mention on the previous video, uh, you do see Nekomomushi, as I'm going to call him that, uh, the cat guardian spirit. Uh, he comes back from the dead and becomes one of your guardian spirits as a when you select him in the shrine. Um, his ability, I believe, is to sense enemies, uh, presence, uh, I think as well as uh, Amarita Urn as well. But yeah, uh, so, and hopefully you have Atlas Bear as your main guardian spirit and as well as having a enough um, uh, Guardian Spirit Talisman uh, against uh, the boss that we're about to face. Um, I'll explain the boss later on, but right now as you see, uh, it's going up, looting some corpses. Watch out in here. There's a Kappa that's going to attack. We're going to ignore him, and we're going to proceed further on, and we're going to hit the third checkpoint. Alright, and as you see from that edit, I did die on one of the towers. And you would start to question, why would you die on one of the towers? Well, here's the thing. Uh, the boss that we're fighting, he's not the main boss, but he's like a boss before the main boss. Uh, his name is Katagura. Pretty much uh, what he does, uh, basically if you fight him at half health, and when he goes to half health, Basically, he will summon a barrage of like range enemies that are shooting matchlock, bows, and hand cannons while you're fighting him. So it gives, so it's pretty much uh, giving him an advantage uh, while fighting him, and we don't want that. So we're gonna pull the same strategy that we did against Omibuzo, and we're going to nerf him. So as you saw, I used my summoning candle to bring back my guardian spirit. And uh, I was going to use my uh, any of the ranged weapons, but I realized I need to save them against the enemies in the towers. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to be fighting these two enemies. Uh, the usual, just using cross slash and then dodge their attack and then punish them. Uh, so yeah, as I'm fighting them, uh, what's in the tower, there's a special yokai. Um, usually you see yokais that are colored red. This one's colored blue. Uh, he's immune to some omeo magic. Uh, I would say sloth. So, uh, in order to defeat him as quickly as possible, we're going to be using living weapon against him. And that's when uh, uh, having the stones would come in handy. So again, I recommend completing Queen's Eye before starting One-Eyed Dragon Castle mission. And uh, so yeah, as you can see, taking out this enemy, and then we can proceed further on into this tower. And then uh, within this tower, there's a couple of ninjas that are guarding the ladder. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually switch to my matchlock, and I am actually going to take out one of the ninjas as uh, quickly as possible so once I take him out the second ninja will just pop out and we're just gonna take him out as well uh, by you know just attacking him with the swords and yeah uh, and then once we climb up the ladder uh, we're gonna be uh, seeing the uh, special yokais but before we do that just use the uh, spirit stone to uh, fill your spirit gauge to the living weapon and then we're going to be using uh, Kekai, Carnage and then when you get close to him, use living weapon and then just constantly keep attacking him uh, until he's dead and there you go so when doing this, 
do not use the shrine until you have defeated Karagura. Uh, if using the shrine, most of the enemies from the tower will respawn. Not the yokais, if you have killed them, but most enemies like the ninjas or anyone using the uh, matchlock or bows um, will spawn back into the tower and that's when Katagora will use them again. So I recommend just killing all the enemies on the tower and then go against Katagora, kill him and then use the shrine to replenish your omeo and health and whatnot. So as you see, I use my matchlock, remaining of my matchlock, to take out uh, most of the enemies in each of the tower. Then we're going to go down here. Pretty much getting out of this tower right here. Just going to loot this corpse before I leave. So again, just don't use the shrine until you defeated uh, Katagura. And then as soon as we open this door or gate, immediately dodge back so that you won't get hit by that uh, giant barrel when the enemy shoots, uh, shoots at you. And uh, I thought he was only going to do <laughs> two attacks for some reason he did three so unfortunately I got hit from that which, which is like wow. Uh, and then there's the ninjas coming after us. Luckily, I use my elixir to uh, replenish and then just take him out. And then I didn't know he was down. And unfortunately, he takes out my guard break. Uh, they took some damage, and I was luckily did not get killed from there. He, he just used the, a bomb, and I, again, I got lucky. And then I used my elixir to recover my health. And then uh, as soon as I loot this corpse, and as you can see, the uh, snakehead yokai is trapped within a door just going back and forth, which will give us the advantage of proceeding through the tower. And then within this tower, there is a ninja that's guarding the ladder. Luckily, it's just one ninja. So we're going to take him out as quickly as possible. All right. And then quickly climb up the ladder so that the... Snakehead Yokai will come after us. Then you'll see the special Yokai right there. Again, gonna be using a spear stone to uh, have our living weapon with us. And then uh, Kekai and Carnage. And then go towards him and then use living weapon and then quickly take him out as quick as possible. Alright. And now that he's on. Uh, this one's gone as well. We have, I believe, two more uh, special yokais to take care of. And once again, uh, my hand cannon is not able to uh, target any of the other enemies, but that's fine. Once we go inside the next tower, we will be able to. Alright, as soon as we get out of the tower uh, that is next to the ladder, immediately go to the left. And then we're going to be wave dashing past these enemies right here. They won't be following us inside the tower. So as soon as we go inside this tower, we need to go to the right. Stay there for a few seconds so that the enemy right there uh, wanders off to the other side. Then we're going to take out this ninja by sneak attacking him with a cross slash. And then just uh, take him out as quickly as uh, possible before that enemy comes back. Right, and then you'll see a ninja that's just hanging out on on the stairs. He's gonna shoot him down and then finish him off with a finishing blow. And then we're gonna proceed through the ladder right here. And then there is a yokai on the stairs. So unfortunately I'm out of uh, Kekai and Carnage, but that's not a problem. So I use a stone, get my living weapon, and I'm just going to use my uh, weakness on him. Uh, it will work for him for at least maybe like a short while. Again, he, he is immune uh, to some Omeo magic. 
so we're going to quickly take him out as best as possible while he had weakness on. And there you go. That takes care of that yokai. Then we have one more yokai that's just across that tower. And, and then within that other side of the tower, there is a ninja. And I'm going to take him out with a hand cannon right here. Alright, so now that takes care of all the regular enemies uh, that are guarding the tower. Now we just have to deal, um, I believe, with a couple of enemies down here. Or actually, three enemies down here. So, we're going to wait for this enemy to come closer until the icon, uh, or the crosshair, goes to red. And just take him out. And I'm just switching my uh, ammo. I use the uh, explosive ammo to take him out. Then I'm going to take out this enemy with a cross slash, which is a sneak attack right there. Just going to collect these. I'm just checking to see if there's any other range uh, weapon ammo. And then I'm going to take out this ninja with a hand cannon instead of a sneak attack. Um, because right here is where a snakehead yokai is. We're going to quickly go up, climb up this ladder. Before that, we're going to loot this corpse, then climb up the ladder. And then again, we've taken out most of the enemies right here and just only take care of the last special yokai. And um, don't do what I was doing. I used, unfortunately, all of my uh, stones. Uh, just use like four or so to replenish enough to have living weapon uh, weakness and then close though actually uh, yeah as you see uh, he was using a hand cannon to just dodge that after he used weakness and then use living weapon and then take him out as quickly as possible um, so I used my Raikiri instead of my dual wheel or dual sword uh, and I was lucky enough to take him out before my living weapon uh, perish and if you really are low or out of oatmeal magic Hopefully you have Sacred Brush with you so that you can replenish uh, some of your Omeo magic back. It's not 100%, but at least it's enough uh, to fight Katagora. So once we go down, we're going to be passing that Snakehead Yokai. Jump down from this ladder. And this is where you fight Katagora. So before we proceed, we're going to uh, use our Kekai, Carnage, cover our dual sword with lightning and then he'll just jump down we're gonna immediately start using sloth weakness and uh, if you have any rage weapon with you uh, just shoot him in the head to knock him down cross slash and finishing blow and then uh, again uh, pretty simple just dodge his attack and then just keep punishing him so when he gets to uh, that health he would have been uh, said fire and then all of his uh, allies would be shooting shooting at you while like you know trying to fight him but luckily now we're able to uh, fight him like as easy as possible uh, so he's but he's so like an annoyance because he's gonna throw some like bombs at you and then some, some those little like uh, I guess we call them like little mines or something but yeah those are just annoyance then he's just using a uh, his own Summer Twilight. Well, it's like an opposite Summer Twilight. It raises his defense, but slowers his maneuverability. And as you see right there, I'm just punishing him with the Water Slash. Uh, and then, if you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Katagura. And we're gonna use the gate, uh, use the key from Katagura, open the gate key, and we're gonna use the shrine to replenish our Omeo and our health and yada yada yada. And then we're going to open this gate. And then beyond here, we're going to be finding the final boss named Masamune. Uh, so Masamune has two living weapons with him. Uh, one is the Wind Dragon. The other one is a Water Gnome. And then, so right here is where Masamune is. Go to Dual Sword, uh, Kekai Carnage, cover your Dual Sword with Lightning. And then we're going to be skipping the uh, cutscene right here. And then as soon as 
the new battle start, you immediately start off with using uh, Sloth and then Weakness. Wait for him to attack first, just do a combo, and if he blocks your first attack, let him dash back and then just repeat. And then just keep doing it until he uh, uh, summons his living weapon, which is the Wind Dragon. And then as soon as he does that, use the living, uh, sorry, Guardian Spear Talisman to summon the Atlas Bear to pin him down, then use Cross Slash, Finishing Blow, and then just uh, wait for him to use the second Guardian Spirit, which is the Water Gnome. Uh, I was using the Atlas, but unfortunately I missed. Then I went closer and take him out right there, pin him down, then finishing him off with a Cross Slash, Finishing Blow. And if you have done this correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Masamune. So again, uh, just a repeatable strategy. Uh, have them, you know, just go at least a uh, like close, not very close range, and then use uh, Guardian Spear Talisman to use that the spear to pin him down, and then cross slash and finish him blow. So anyway, uh, go to your inventory, check your weapons and ammo, along with your charm, and then watch out for your uh, weight of the armor. Make sure it's in the green or blue section of it. And if you have any prestige points, uh, use them as much as possible. As you, uh, you get the Wind Dragon Guardian Spirit uh, from Masamune. If you, need, if you want to get the second Guardian Spirit from him, which is the Water Gnome Guardian Spirit, uh, you have to play a certain side mission in order to get that other Guardian Spirit. But anyway, uh, go to the blacksmith if you want, uh, uh, replenish your ammo, buy some weapons and armor to disassemble uh, and forge, or if you want to uh, soul merge. But if not, go to the shrine, go to offering, sell your weapons and armor for more Amarita and elixir. And if you have any remaining stones uh, in your inventory, use them as use all of them. And then if you have any like. Uh, hair locks, use them as well. Alright, and then we're gonna level up here and increase our heart by two. And on the next video, the mission that we're going to is called the Spirit Stone Huntress. And I hope this video has helped you out.